I was like, why do you have paint all over your hand? <laughs> and your face. <laughs> Two to four on the outside versus two to four on the inside. What do you think? What's going to be the that, simplest? That's the easiest. That's the easiest and less time consuming. Let's do that. Okay. Now, if I do that, put this post to the outside and butt in the center of that tree. See what I'm saying? That gives you a little more room. Right. Let's do that too. Be my choice. Okay. That would be the fastest on that too, wouldn't it? Yeah. So we're going to have a 4x4 four four post there, right. one there, and, and then that there. cedar post will be that support. Yeah. And then will we just go all the way to that corner? Well, we'll put a post, something like that. Okay. And then, if you want to, we can put a post right here. Put a post right here. To swing your gate to, so okay. like, lay against the wall. Yeah. Kind of like plan. Yep. I like it. Finish the first section of the rails for upstairs. I just want to tell you this. So Elaine has told me from the very beginning to make sure that we build this good so the kids don't fall over or through. So I sent her a picture of it. And then I said thoughts and she said, well it's hard to tell but pretty sure a kid could fall right through those slots. Jerry says they'd only do it one time. <laughs> Lane says, Tell him that does not ease my mind. And if we can make it safer, we will have to put a netting up for real. But what Jerry just said, which is a good idea, is they make these wire, do you, are, they, are they called stock panels? Stock panels. Basically, well, in this case, we'll use a hog panel. It's just a galvanized wire. What it, it's yeah. like got one an eighth inch thick scale. or something, or as far as thickness of that wire. It's probably a quarter of an inch. A quarter of an inch thick. Yeah, maybe a little over. But what we can do is stick up that galvanized panel back here on the back side and just screw it in. And so then that way, you no know, kid can fall through it or get their head stuck because those panels are six inch squares. So they definitely won't be able to do that. Like right now, these. so this is uh, eight inches apart is what each one of these are. So you definitely can fit a uh, small child through it or head through it, but when we stick that up, it'll, and it'll look good. We just didn't want so much wood really obstructing or blocking, uh, just looking up and the viewing and, and looking down as well. So when you use that wire, it will still let you see through without having so much wood in place. So I'm going to be showing you where everything's going to be in here. Jerry and hey, Dad what are you built doing a safety guy? fence. Huh? Glad we built a safety you fence. So Dad, what's going to be in this area? We're going to have like maybe a little sitting area up here and some books to read, stuff like that. Maybe a TV like right here? Uh, we won't have a TV. No okay. TVs. Yeah. Come on, That's pretty much it. it? Pretty yeah. sweet. Jason, what do you think of your new your new fence? Cool. Come tell me what you think about it. We only have one 
Okay. One more right here. See it? Well, we already. Did I miss that one? Yeah, you oh, missed I did miss it. that one. Okay, let's film it. Okay, Jason. Okay. Come on. Let's do this, Dad. Come let's on. Do it, man. Okay. Okay. Hey, Video tape me. Okay. That's what Jason just helped me do. I didn't have the camera on, I thought I was time lapsing, but turns out I wasn't, so I didn't get any of this. Uh, but basically the same process. We use a four x four post, uh, cut out holes in the floor, kind of like how we did the post in the bedroom, where we cut it out like a L shape, you know? Cut a notch out, and we stuck that notch to the floor, and then drilled it and then screwed it into the, which you can't see. But the same thing is what we did there. There's a floor joist, but we used the whole piece there, stuck it all through and screwed it down into the floor joist. But on this one here, we cut a L shape out of it, stuck that piece into the floor joist. Uh, after that, we just used two by fours for the rails, and then we used a two by six for the, the top plate and screwed it all down. And it looks really good. Lane was just here, she confirmed that she wants a stock panel, just wire panel, that we'll put up in these areas to keep the kids from squeezing through or anything like that. There's one more you missed, right there, see it? See that one right there? Oh, you're right. You, you missed two of them. Can you believe that? Here, don't push the button yet. Okay, there. Screw it in a little bit. Okay, I'll push it. No, I, no, I'll push. No, I mean, you push the button. I'll get your hand Okay. There. Okay, where's the other one at? Uh, the oven right there, see No, it? I mean, where's it? Can you get another screw? I told you there's get, get two. Another, get another screw. Why? Where's the screw? Right there. No. Right there. Jason, Jason, get one of these. Okay. Now. Okay, put it in there. What in here? No, right here in this hole. Right okay. there. Oh, okay, that's just, the... just stick it in there for a second. Okay. okay, move your fingers, move your fingers. Okay. Okay, now you can push the button. Yay, we got them all. Good job. Let's go home. You want to? Yeah, I just want to stay here. Keep building. Alright. White wash. White so, washing. I think it's going to look nice. No, it's, just so hard, it's just so hard to tell early on. Yeah. But I think, but I think we'll... Well, it's going to need to look nice because it's what we're doing. <laughs> well, we want it to bleed through, right? When you white wash, you still see the grain. Yeah. It's just like antiquing something. Just antiquing it, yeah. Which goes with our vibe. Which is going to be very easy to do, I feel like. Yeah, I don't have to be perfect. Yeah. And you just stay within that section. You get those three, get all the little things you need. Not making it perfect. Because Michael's a perfectionist. And this is killing him just watching this. Am I correct? Is it killing you right now? Yeah, it kind of is. And it's killing many people. It would kill my mother. Like, I get it, but just wait. Just wait. There's a, there's a thing. A method to your madness. There's a method to my madness. Madness. Get it all covered up. Is that really how you've been doing this whole time? Yep. Three things at a time. I'll let this dry for one hour. And then we will come back and possibly touch up or do a second coat. Not quite sure. We're going to see what it looks like after an hour. You know, if you read the directions on the can, which I just now did, we're doing this all wrong. Really? Promise. They say something about wiping it with a rag or something. Because they had those rags there when you bought brushes and said. <laughs> that? that was my idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think we can brush it on, but something about wiping off excess something. But have we ever followed rules? No, or directions. 
We just kind of figure do, it out as we go. Do we do anything else the way everybody else does it? No. No. Does Wait. it work sometimes? Yeah. Does it work sometimes? No. 50-50. 50-50. And then we'll say, you know what, next time let's do it different. Let's do it this That's next right. time. That's right. Lessons learned, man. But I like this. I'll tell you what right now, this is better than painting. Painting's awful. But this, you don't have to get perfect. It's kind of, well, like staining. It's whitewashing to me is like yeah, staining. Yeah, it is. And it's a, it's, a, it's a thin liquid like stain, so all you're really doing is just hitting over everything and calling it good. New one. Plain just went in and stole my paint. <laughs> look at your, look at your face. <laughs> I can't see my face. Oh, I'll flip it out and see. <laughs> yeah. Oh my. Difference in paintbrushes <laughs> between Lane and I. Hers used to look like this. Show me your hands. <laughs> well, babe, I don't I said, know. I was like, why do you have paint all over your hands <laughs> and your face? <laughs> uh, anyway. and, and then I got like a little bit. It's obvious though, she's the hardest worker. Right? That's right. That's the, that's, that's the point. Because that's the point of this. Your paintbrush turned white and mine's still black. <laughs> We had a good time. We had a great time. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you this really quickly. We need some more paint, but this is this room. Looks good. It's hard, it's hard to tell. There's just, with no lights, it's really hard to tell how good it looks. Uh, this one we did, but we couldn't put a second coat on it. And we're just going for a whitewashed, rustic looking, non-perfect. Yeah. Just like our house. Just like us. <laughs> and us. All right, so we're gonna go clean our paintbrushes and call yeah. it a day. Woo! I really debated on what to do in our bathroom. I was just gonna do hardwood, like we're doing in the rest of the house, but with bathrooms and water, Jerry convinced me to go with tile. So today, we're gonna be laying tile. So the first thing that we're doing is we are uh, cutting out some sections. We've got our sink, we've got our toilet. So we're cutting those pieces to fit. This is a hardy backer board. It's a cement board, and we're just cutting that making sure that we get the pieces to fit first because then once you actually start mixing your thin set mortar you don't want it to set too long before you get these put on place so you put the thin set mortar down on your osb board and then you put the hardy backer down So we've got all the backer board down and it took a gazillion screws. So just FYI, if you uh, are gonna be putting this down yourself, you need a lot of screws. So now Jerry has started on the tile. We've got a few laid so far. He's making up some more mortar now. And uh, I'll kind of show you the process of what that looks like on how he's laying the tile. This is all new to me. I've never laid tile before. I'm wanting to learn, but I'm also watching Jerry at the same time to see how he does it. 